brown baby doll and I'm gonna teach you how to take your braids from this. To this, all with very simple steps. Every morning I'm going to be here. Why are you crying? Why so many tears? You've been there for me. And if you need it, click here for my Havana Twist tutorial in which I show you what hair I use, the products I use, and the process I take to get these beautiful braids. So for my washing process, I'm using Cream of Nature Shampoo. I'm gonna put a link to some good shampoos you can use for this washing process. You're gonna need a hair coloring bottle with a nozzle on top. Of course, you're also going to need your shampoo of choice. I fill that bottle to about two to three ounces of my chosen and shampoo. I fill it the rest of the way with water. Once that process is done, shake your bottle up well. If you're using a sulfate-free shampoo, don't be surprised if you don't see a whole lot of lather. Now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my hair for the wash. You can see that it's kind of tired, old, and a mess. It's been in for about a month and I've redone the edges once already, but with my workout regimen, they need redoing. You're gonna start by splitting your hair into manageable sections so that when you're washing, it's not too hard for you to wash the hair completely. The whole idea is that you're getting that scalp clean and the rest of your hair clean, and you don't need it in huge sections that make it hard for you to either wash it or even for it to dry. So taking that duck bill clip, I just kind of pin the sections, roll the hair up, and put it in manageable sections that prepare it for washing. Repeat this process until all of your hair is clipped. Now you're all ready to get clean. Now this is when those sections truly come in handy. You're going to wet the sections of hair first individually and then taking that bottle with the nozzle, I go through each little section segment and part and kind of apply it directly to my parts or to the scalp. Once that's complete, take your fingertips and massage the scalp directly. All those exposed areas need shampoo and carry your fingertips down so that the rest of your hair gets clean. Now you just rinse off and I like to rinse in sections because it ensures that I've gotten each section clean and it makes it manageable. I simply take my hands and get a lot of that extra wringing water out. Now you're going to have to repeat this at the end anyway, but Go ahead and twist yourself up in a big twist and then pin that individual section up with your duck bill clip. Now simply repeat that process around the rest of your hair. Simple enough, right? Continue on my friend, this process can be a bit of a beast but usually takes me about 20 minutes tops. Now once my hair is dried adequately, which is usually the next day for me, I go ahead and spray on a nice liquidy conditioner that's not gonna cause too much buildup and is not gonna show white chunky flakes. This was a refresher spray from my curl kit, which is called Candy Curls. And now I am ready to rebraid. Look at my edges, look at the hair. It's not all build up and you know, the white stuff and the flakes, all of that is gone. So I'm really ready to go ahead and rebraid. Some of you all in the past have asked me why I rebraid after washing. I find that my hair reacts better to this. And without that build up, I find that I don't experience breakage. My hair is stronger and it's more prepared for the rebraiding process. Now I'm just taking the braid down individually and then I'm going to replace it. So I'm using brand new hair. Some of you with the Havana hair choose to wash it and reuse it. I simply use new hair. So it's up to you that Havana hair can be reused. Now I add on my choice of moisturizer and shea butter. I find that this keeps my hair pretty soft and manageable when it comes time for this braiding process. 
and I'm using the same braiding process that I showed you in my original tutorial. This is no different. You're just braiding the edges again and you're gonna choose how much of the hair you want to rebraid. There's no easy way of doing this. It's just based on how much of your hair is gonna be out, how you're gonna be styling it, and how you're gonna be wearing it. But that braiding to twisting process is the same. Braiding about a little less than an inch down and twisting all the way down to the end so that your braids or twists don't unravel. Now I'm gonna repeat this process on my second braid just so I can make sure that you got that process down. Same thing here. Take that braid down. You're gonna re-moisturize and put a little bit more shea butter. Add the hair, the Havana hair, braiding a little less than an inch down and twisting the rest of the way down. And voila, you have your brand new braids and they blend in nicely. And you're just gonna continue this process around all the areas that you want to rebraid. At the end, this is how I look. You would not be able to tell that the middle of my head looks like Halloween Who Done It. Yes, I said it. The middle of my head looks a mess, but I don't care. Cause I'm keeping these braids in for about two months and nobody has to know. Now you're gonna repeat this process about every two weeks. I do the edges in the back and I do all the edges around the sides and the front of my head. This keeps my hair from having a lot of buildup and it also keeps it from getting it tangled and locking up. But this is how it looks. You can style it in a million ways and no one would ever know the difference. So let me know what else you guys would like to see. New videos every Thursday, every Sunday. Go ahead and let me know below. Comment. Check out the first video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Oh, 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 oh